Veto is the term used for changing the button settings in your controller in a very extreme way with the purpose of making many precise and difficult advanced techniques much easier while also making many difficult tactics possible and convenient, such as perfect pivots, edge dash tags, instant wall jumps, among many other things. This is all possible because you change your secondary stick to register special moves along with a trigger button with the same function. If you hold down the special button, you will then notice your secondary stick now cancels the directional input instead of registering special just like your main stick except the directional input only lasts for a single frame this is the base of what allows performing many different advanced techniques much easier works best with pro controller and gamepad due to having four trigger buttons making button configuration much easier but also works with gamecube controller just less convenient the benefits of video is that because you now have two sticks to do directional inputs with and one of them only registers for one frame it allows you to combine both sticks to make a wide selection of frame perfect techniques very easy to do since you essentially can't mess up due to the second stick only being active for one single frame, essentially removing a lot of possible human error with incorrect inputs. The benefits are massive since you can essentially consistently master techniques deemed as too inconsistent to perform in tournament, breaking the barrier for a lot of tech we thought was only gonna remain in paper. Vito makes that gap closer than it's ever been. The vague disadvantage to all of this is the fact that the bottom configuration is an extreme change. It isn't something that's going to take you week or two to get used to it, but something that's going to take months to fully assimilate to your muscle memory, especially if you want to take that to tournaments. This can be even worse if you're switching from GameCube controller to Wii U Pro controller because it's a whole different controller making it an even harder switch. But even for players that are already used to Wii U Pro controller, this is still a very significant and massive change that can easily throw them off as well. The thing is that most of the competitive Smash Bros scene plays with GameCube controller on settings that are almost default, with the most common change being tap jump on or off. On top of that, experienced players who have been playing Smash since Melee and have used the same controller for a while now kinda ingrained in their muscle memory how Smash is played like that through a Genki controller through default settings. So the only disadvantage but a huge one is the difficulty of making the switch correctly. It's a process that's going to take time and patience. And about it, use in tournament. In my opinion, this is one of those techniques that only as fully master, it's going to create more inconvenience for the player rather than results. This is because to properly use the advantage that it gives you, it has to be ingrained in your muscle memory to play like that. To a point where you don't even think about video at all, you simply just do it because that's how you now play the game. Anything less than that will bring more inconvenience and trouble to the player rather than being a big advantage like it's supposed to be. So in terms of being tournament viable, of course it is. It's definitely a strategy that has a huge advantage to it, but I think it's going to be quite a while until we see somebody fully mastering this to be able to use it in tournament and get a good result with it, let alone big tournaments, and it's also going to take a special kind of dedicated player to pull this off. And will this change the metagame? I mean, it can. It really can change the entire metagame as we know it. It can potentially become so good and impactful that the new breed of players who start using it in tournament start doing considerably better than other players because they're using Vito. The thing is that Vito is not a gimmick. It literally allows you to do extremely difficult or inconsistent techniques with ease and comfort, which is something kind of unheard of in competitive Smash Bros before. The library of options becomes almost infinite with it, to be honest. But it can also remain something that's simply too difficult for players to fully master and it ends up becoming obsolete and overhyped. I think this will 100% come down to what the players make of Vito. They will be the judges on if this strategy will change the metagame or not. All it takes is one player mastering this technique and going to a tournament and having a great showing at it to prove if Vito is or not the next big thing. Only time will tell with this one. And now you may be wondering, will I use Vito? Well, I have a stance that I feel like many other top players could possibly also share on the topic. I can't use it, or rather, I can't use it due to my current circumstance. As I mentioned before, Vito messes up with your controller settings and even your controller option itself if you want to go with the Wii U Pro option to be as optimal as possible. Playing Smash Bros for me is literally tied to the Genki controller, so it's gonna be extremely hard to change 10 years of muscle memory in a month or two. It could be something that could take me 6 months or even a year to fully put into my brain and in that whole period of time that it's gonna take me to get used to it it would essentially mess up my entire play and with so many big events like evo and others coming up later this year it's simply too inconvenient of a risk to try to make such a big change before these events furthermore there's never really an off season in competitive smash there's always a big event somewhere that you should kind of go all of this makes Vito too inconvenient for me to use let alone master so it's something that i'm personally not going to 
to bother with. If Smash Brothers had an actual long off season, I could consider it, but as of now, I simply can't. Hope this answer everyone's questions around Vito and what were my thoughts on the topic. I've gotten this video requested a lot, so I hope that it was of your enjoyment. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys around in another video. Zero out.